if you're here, you're being asked to go all in. Some of you have one foot in and one foot out, and you're being asked to go all in on what it is that you love. This can feel very challenging considering you may have already committed to other things, other people, other circumstances that you are not really in love with, all right? Because love is a frequency. It's not just a partnership. That's one variation of the expression of love with another, not even love by itself. Standing alone, love is powerful. And so you're being asked to open yourself up to more love in your life. Love from other people, love from new friends, new family members. Some of you guys may be marrying into a family. So the overall message is to go all in. So another thing I'm hearing if you're here is that you really have to put aside being right. This is not about being right. This is about being aligned because you desire ultimately at the end of the day to feel good, to feel free, to have free time. And so you desire freedom to feel and freedom is just to do what you desire, to go where you desire, to not have to look at the clock all the time, to not have to be worried about the next day. There's a sense of bliss that you're opening yourself up to. Not very many people get here. So if you're seeing this video, like I always say, it's not by coincidence. It doesn't matter how you got here. You got here at the right time. It doesn't matter. Some of you, it's nine days ago. Some of you, it's today, right now. Some of you, it's three years ago, four years ago. It doesn't matter when you get there as long as you arrive and you're on time. You won't miss it. You're here. Universe, God, whichever you believe, is asking you to be open, okay, to something that has longevity. Happiness has longevity if you allow it to. Joy, peace, there is longevity, meaning these are the emotions and feelings you desire to experience for a longevity of time, if I were to put it in a practical sense. So if you're here, there's a message for you that you were meant to hear and that you could have never missed. And already these are all messages. So I'm really hearing to be open to where this message comes from, where the signs come from, where your blessings come from. Some of you, most of you, it will be unexpected. And that's because wherever it's unexpected, the pressure is released. There's pressure released, which therefore the universe can deliver. So there's a long-term investment and your long-term investment and the best investment is your joy because that's something you will always want to desire to experience. That's why it's longevity. You should be thinking in this way, whereas practical, we're thinking, what's longevity career-wise? What's a good investment? What's a good work where I could stay at a long time? Well, coming, taking a step back, if you're here, you're aware enough to receive the messages in this video today you're aware enough to receive them. Even people who have the channel doesn't mean they'll see this video. It's like, we have to trust that it's not a coincidence. And the more synchronistic it is, the more magical it appears to be. It is truly magic. There is no way to describe it. There's people study it for years. Greatest philosophers of all time. My word of advice from the universe is saying, experience it first, study it later, okay? It's like trying to study how the sun comes up and how the moon is rotating. And some of you I'm hearing may get into that out of fun and enjoyment, but there's something you are already experiencing to be able to receive intelligence from a source outside of you and someone else, spiritually, okay? So if you're here, 
you're going to see that I'm using tarot cards. Though they're not necessary, tarot cards allow us the clues to the messages that are coming in for you. So we're able to see more and you're able to believe more because the card showed up, right? So whatever this card is, you're meant to see it. The matrix, you're meant to see it. Some would say, that's like magic. One of my favorite movies. I always quote this movie. It's just, you can't make it up. All right. And you can't go back once you know it exists. You just can't. There's something bigger than this. And people are figuring it out. And guess what they're doing? They're coming back and they're telling you, which is who I am, simply an oracle that has chosen to be open to whatever messages come in, even if it's a message for hundreds of thousands of people. This is my life. This is my destiny. And so I am an oracle. I'm going to be delivering these messages from the universe, but also showing you how you have the same connection. In a sense, I'm an adapter for a lot of people when you can simply go to the source yourself. And that's what this channel is about, equipping people to be able to connect for themselves. It gives me nothing to be the one to give you answers. It's just who I am. Okay, so it is even more fulfilling when you guys have revelation. So the matrix, you're coming out of the matrix. We're revealing the truth. This is sacred work, meaning not many people get here, but you really wanted to wake up, Neo. You just kept looking and looking and looking and you really wanted to wake up and doo -doo, Morpheus showed up. Hello. That's all I am in this lifetime to you at this moment in time. So you are a catalyst. And we are catalysts for the example of the possibilities that are possible. So this is your real career. Look at this real career. You've been so focused on career longevity, climbing the ladder, corporate, what's the best retirement 401. Okay. Does this benefits and da -da 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 -da. where the real longevity is? What do you desire to last forever all the time? Peace, bliss, happiness, love, abundance, freedom. If that feels good to you, that is your confirmation. You can't read that in a book. You can only feel it. <laughs> okay? Like it's a feeling. You can feel it deep down inside. You can't miss it even if you try. And some people try. And it's exhausting. So surrender to the truth. The truth is the voice of God. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be channeling messages for three different cards. Because there are so many people on this reading, you are going to pick which card you feel like stands out to you the most. The one that's saying, hey, pick me, is probably gonna be the correct card for you. If you see two kind of standing out, just listen to them both. There's no such thing as choosing the wrong card. It's like, saying, oh, I chose to open up YouTube at the wrong time because now I've seen this video. It's like everything is so synchronistic that when you look back, you will think it's crazy. That's how synchronistic it is. It's just you're not seeing the signs in all of them. And that's because you're meant to enjoy the journey, enjoy the experience. So this is a collective message if you're still here. Now we're going to get into a more specific message with the cards that I have pulled up here you're going to choose which one is standing out to you. And then what you'll do is at the bottom of this description or in the comment section, because a lot of you are new here. And that's what I'm feeling. Some of you don't even read tarot cards. I never even knew about them until five years ago when I barely started this channel. I had no idea what tarot cards were. We all have this perspective of, oh, it's evil. It's this and it's that. And it's like, mm-hmm. If connecting with God is evil, we need to question who said this in the first place. Because all we're doing is connecting with God, the universe, and source. Guidance from an outside world that feels good, that feels knowing. It's a knowingness. You don't know what to call it, but you know it's there. And we just say the universe over here. Because there are many of you who have your own filters and descriptions of what you believe it is, but understand it's the highest existence and the highest existence cannot be labeled or defined by a word. So if you're here, we have three different cards that you guys can choose from. So if you go down to the comment section, you'll see a pinned comment there and it'll say card one, card two, card three, click 
the number next to it. And that's going to take you directly to your card. So you don't have to listen to the whole reading. There's also should be chapters down underneath this video. So you can just click image one, image two, image three, and it takes you directly to your reading. If you feel led to listen to them all, do what you feel led to do. I'm just glad to have you here. 300,000 subscribers. We finally reached it. And I feel like that is a big statement to make because some channels have over 50 million views constantly on their videos, but still are under 300,000 subscribers. So to me and my Capricorn self, I had to let myself know that's a great job because that means 300,000 people are subscribed to hearing this message. That should show you that the world is waking up. Five years ago, it may only have been 3,000 people because people were not open to this truth. They were afraid of this truth, but you're here. So what does that say about your significance? You really, really gotta be open to this. It's good to have you here, and I'm very, very thankful for you being open to me being your oracle because it's a trusting thing to do to be open to spiritual guidance. So meet me on the other side. I'm gonna see you guys in your card, and we're gonna get into your reading. I'm out. Card one, if you guys were drawn to the first image, this is your message from the universe. So as I was mentioning in the collective reading, I really want to encourage you to go back to that because that was an entire channeled message from the ethers because I don't even know where that came from. So go back, listen to that collective message and also be open. So what was I going to say? Okay. All right, card one, let's see. What does the universe want you to know if you're here? As I mentioned in the very beginning, understand that you are so rare that tarot is not very acceptable everywhere and you're open to the messages coming from them. So also understanding that you need to go look for yourself, okay? There's something about you going to look for yourself, not depending on people to talk you out of situations. You trust your instinct and go look. If it feels like it could make you happy, go look is what I'm getting. And so that's what tarot is all about is communicating with the universe, getting messages. These cards are simply just clues to the stories. So tarot just acts as a way for us to connect with more of what the universe is saying, understanding that the universe doesn't speak a language. If there was a language, the closest would be frequency. Okay, and how do you speak that is through your vibration. So this all has been discovered through my own personal spiritual journey. And eventually I'm hearing for you, card one, you will say the same thing. All right, this is a journey that is exciting. All right, this is something everyone wants to know. And sometimes people are too afraid to look. And so you are here to look. And so eventually you're going to find what you're looking for, or you will not find what you think is lost. So if you keep thinking things are not there, what's crazy to me, card one, is you have this excitement to learn more about your spiritual journey. You want to know how this thing works. How does reality work? How does attraction work? How does manifestation work? You're coming up as the apprentice of pentacles. So this is someone who is just now kind of getting into a new place of thinking, but this is also leading you to a new career choice is what I'm getting here, okay? So we have a career choice, but you're also coming up as someone who wants to learn more about this world. So if you did not catch the collective, I definitely want to encourage you to go back and listen to that. The matrix came up. So that is something also very significant. You are escaping the matrix, card one. You may have just found your way here. You may be new to most of this with The Apprentice. If not, then you're new in making this your career, which is crazy because on the matrix card in the collective reading, it literally says that it is a new career for you. So your new career is this, this excitement around learning more about how all of this works will benefit you and also fund your life is what I'm hearing. This is something you will be excited to share. You will be excited to share your stories about this. Okay. So we're getting the print pentacles apprentice 
So let's see what else is here. What does the universe want you to know? We're gonna get two cards, okay? And once again, tarot just acts as clues. So the universe communicates with us. <laughs> I feel like you're also coming up as a student of this. Like you wanna know more. I really strongly feel like if you are here, you may have been drawn also to card three. There could be a connection here. You're just now starting this journey. And if you're not just now starting it, you're getting ready to see yourself teaching others. So the student becomes the teacher. So that tells me that you're ready to become the teacher. I'm getting card three at the very beginning is going to be more about you becoming that teacher and aligning with that. Right now you are coming up as the student, the apprentice, someone who wants to look into this and learn more. Manifestation, law of attraction. How does this work? Why? you desire to feel good. Don't lose sight of that. That's the whole reason for everything is to feel good, whether it's spending time with your family, being in love, driving your favorite car, doing what you love, playing a sport, writing, creating art. It brings you a feeling that is undescribable. Go back to that I'm hearing. Go back to what makes you feel that way. That's actually where you are in your spiritual journey right now is deciding that I haven't even gotten into the cards, but the messages are flowing. And that's because I'm very, very connected to whoever's on this reading. Okay. So that tells me that we are the same. You just may be in a different place of your journey, but we are the same. And just like you, I had the same desire to know what is all of this and does manifestation really work? Now we're in an era where everyone's talking about it. It's a little bit more accessible, though oversaturated, meaning who's telling the truth and who actually knows what they're talking about. If you actually know what you're talking about, it simply means you're telling the truth. We must understand that it's not about being right. It's not about being wrong. It's about what is the truth? Why am I here? If you tell the truth, you will always be right. But the truth is, is you don't care to be right. You only care to be right because it, you would desire it to be the truth. You would want it to be the truth. So those who want it to be right really are saying, I want it to be true. But it's not always that what you think is right is true. Follow me. You're turning me into a teacher. So you're pulling messages out of me that I would teach in a actually class setting. So that tells me you're just like, okay, well, how, and how do I do this? And how do I keep this feeling going? And I'm excited about this. And I see that it works. Many of you are getting ready to see just how much this works. This meaning truth, the universe that you're here to explore, have fun, feel good, live your life, enjoy it. We even have the sun card here, joy. This is the happiest card in the deck. We also have emperor. So you could be a father. People could see you as a father figure. Once again, I do see if you're the student, meaning you probably pick this card first if, if you're the student. If you're becoming the teacher very soon, you would pick this second coming from three. Okay, this is just, I'm telling you, people will say it's a prediction. It's just the message. It's the truth. That's what I'm seeing here. And what this tells me is that you will eventually be the teacher that you were once looking for when you were the student. And right now, you are the student. And the only thing you'll be teaching is living the life that you're preaching. <laughs> that is the truth. Just live it. Be the example of it. Let other people see. You will soon see. You do not have to tell them anything. They will see all the blessings in your life. Like, whoa, you're changing. You don't have to say, I'm changing for people to see that you change. Okay. And what is this? This is all truth. So you're coming up as the emperor. So this is someone who's meant to be the pilot of their own plane. You are meant to be driving in the driver's seat, not letting someone else dictate your destiny. So it is now time for you to step into this emperor role, being a leader. So even if you're here first as a student, you are quickly excelling. You don't see yourself and how much you're growing, but you soon will when you start having a conversation with others and they're looking at you like, what? What do you mean frequency, vibration? What does that mean? So you will see just how far you've come in your spiritual journey based on the language of others. 
based on your connection and in your interactions, you will see, wow, I'm really more ahead than I thought. And that just means you're aware. You're aware more than most and majority of people living today. Okay, that is the truth. And that is what I'm hearing. So that's why we use the cards for proof so that you know it's not me just saying it. I have to go get a deck that I've created from your future self and saying, what exactly do you want the person listening to this reading to know? And then whatever card falls out, we know it didn't come from me because it's destiny. It just happened. And deeply, we know that that's the universe communicating with us. And that is actually how tarot was originated. It was just a deck of playing cards until they started to add meanings to it and add more and saying, hey, if this card falls out, then something else outside of us esoteric wise is communicating with us. And that's all the cards are for. Because I could say this, but there's nothing like seeing what does the universe want you to know and this card coming out. There is more to discovering who you are. It's just alignment. So with that being said, we know that this is the universe communicating randomly, okay? I'm shuffling and a random card is coming out. I didn't go choose that card for you. So we know that it's random. So that says we trust it more when it's random, when it's coincidental, so it's the same thing in your life. That's why it's got to be unknown. That's why it's got to be random. That's what we call a miracle where you had no control. Spirit wants you to know to have faith in your dreams, that you're here to live your dreams, that your uniqueness is your superpower, that that difference of you, that uniqueness of you is actually your superpower. So that version of you that you're trying to hide that weird side of you that who you are what you like what you're interested in all of this it makes the perfect chemistry for your destiny the perfect chemistry every single thing is aligned with a dream that you are meant to experience in this life that is living outside the matrix and you know, based on how certain activities, experiences, or feelings that you receive from doing what you love. So your uniqueness, your differences, okay? That's something I had to o overcome as well as a human, having a human body. It's like, I'm so different. No one looks like me. Duh, that's the point. Because it can only be you. So it's you that makes this history. It's you, okay? It's you. It's your backstory. It's the color of your, your avatar, your body, your age. All of this in your identity is a superpower for you, is perfectly aligned for your destiny. So your uniqueness, it is your superpower. It is what draws people in. It's your freedom of expression. It's being yourself. So having faith in your dreams is becoming the emperor. So at the very bottom, we have trust that you are being guided on your journey. Okay, spirit, what else do you want them to know? And this is why we have messaging cards. Because once again, I can't make it up. This is what the universe wants you to know. Because why? Because it's a random card that flies out. That's the greatness about the cards. Nothing evil, you know, the truth is not evil. It is your friend. It is the closest thing that we have to the voice of God. You gotta follow that truth. You have to follow that feeling. Even if you don't know what it sounds like, you know what it feels like. Let me tell you, it feels good. When you feel good, you feel God. That is the truth. Life can be hard and life can be wonderful. Which one will you focus on? So your focus and your attention is also what's making the decision of what you want to experience. So everything that you're focused on grows. The more, what you focus on grows and it continues to grow. What you focus on grows. So do you want to focus on life being hard or life being wonderful? So 
the power is really in your hands here with the emperor card here and with the apprentice of pentacles you're trying to figure it out because the sun card we also have an animal here so dogs can be important tv video game virtual reality stuff whatever excites you don't judge it that's a form of self-judgment don't judge yourself for what you love or what you desire do not judge yourself for what you love or what you desire. You can't be mad at yourself if you want the better shoes, the better quality shoes. You got to be honest with yourself so that vibration, you can start to shift into that version of you. You're waiting for your reality to look like it, but you are projecting it. You, that life belongs to a different version of you. Not the lack mentality version of you, not the one always worried, not the one with, oh, trying to, I have to make this happen and figure it out. Not that version of you. This life that's connected to your desires, your, the desires you're truthful about that you're not judging yourself for because they're too big. Doesn't matter if it's hundreds of acres of land. That's a confirmation. Go get your land. Just go find it. Go find the one that excites you. Let it find you, actually. It'll pop right up in your face. It'll pop right in your face. So let it find you. Let your desires find you, but connect with them. Get to know yourself and what your desires are. The more desires you have, the more expansive life becomes for you. That is the truth. You are meant to have desires. But if we're too busy judging them, like, dang, why do you always want the expensive one? <laughs> It's, it's a battle with self. Why battle with yourself for what it loves and what it desires? Self is the greatest gift from God. It allows you to be present on earth. Without a body, you would not be here. Without a mind, you would not be able to navigate this body and connect with the world. Every single thing is a gift to you. And so with the sun card here, this is about gratitude. Feeling good is for you, not the universe. We think it's like God said, be grateful. No, if anything, being grateful means feeling good, feeling great. I'm feeling so great. I'm full. I'm grateful. I'm excited. I'm happy. It's saying be happy now. Feel good now. Even, that's, even if that's touching flowers, eating ice cream, feel good now. So this is all about your happiness. This is all about your joy. And now it's time to discover what that is in yourself. So spirit is saying that's where the wonderful comes from, but your focus and your attention, we see they're hypnotized on the sun card. If I'm hypnotizing to think this is my life, I have to work hard. I have to do this until I retire. I have to go to school to do this. I have to. I have to are not words from your soul. Think about that, because it is a thinking thing. So if you're saying I have to, you probably don't want to. So we got to be honest with ourselves if we desire for this to work. You got to be honest, even with your desires. If they're big, they will be big. They're meant to be big. You're expansive. You're meant to stretch yourself here. You have to understand that you're made in the image of God, even if you understand that, that you are this essence. How can you put this essence in a body and tell it you cannot have, or you cannot expand to be on here? No. Okay, so you're expanding. You're going through a large expansion. Why? Because of joy and happiness. What is the point of life? You were meant to experience joy and happiness. So spirit is saying that life can be hard and this card is peeking out to me over here. Feed your heart and mind. Right livelihood, best job is giving, satisfied in full life. You're moving towards having a more fulfilled life. Feeling full, that's where the gratefuls. I feel so good, I feel great. I'm filled with goodness. I'm filled with God. So at the bottom of the deck, we have depths under the surface, more to find, not obvious deep dive. So this isn't something that someone is going to give to you. This is not an answer anyone can give to you because you and yourself are connected at a deeper level. And so that feeling 
is not going to be as obvious as far as your desires and what you love, even though it seems like it should be a simple answer. This is a journey that you are meant to discover in this lifetime. And that's why you are here. So let's see if there's anything else, what you're transitioning into. What are you transitioning into currently in your life? A doorway open to possibility. So more possibilities because you believe, because you're more aware you've been expanding are actually going to open up for you. We have walk away risks and ship focus. So once again, at a crossroads, one foot into doing something you think you desire to do with the pentacles here, page, this would mean starting something new. So whatever it is that you're meant to do here, you're aligning with the emperor and the sun to bring you joy, to bring you happiness is going to actually provide tangible resources as well so you will be able to get paid from whatever this is that brings you joy okay no matter how silly it may sound and we also have full cup so with the full cup here this tells me that you are meant to have a full cup overflow so greatest desire thirst for more and fulfilled so this is about your fulfillment what you love okay even if you think you don't need it like, well, I don't need it. It's not about needing it. Do you desire it? People that don't desire much don't have much. Truly desire, okay, not want. Because want's like, oh, I want that. Desire is like, I can't stop thinking about that. That would sound fun. That's, that's something that sparks in my heart, my soul. It's not something that can be communicated. It's like love, me trying to explain what love is. It's the same thing as your desire. So this is something that you have to feel within yourself and you're going to go on a self journey of discovering that trying new things will be the next chapter for you to see what do I love? What excites me? There were once things that you thought did, but now you're coming to this feeling of what that really feels like for you. What fulfillment actually feels like, what freedom actually feels like, what joy actually feels like. And you're, you will also be taking a path towards a new career because of this with the page. Let's see if there's anything else here for card one. What are they current? I want to say, what are they currently manifesting? That's what I really want to say. 10 of cups. Look at how that came out. Didn't even come upside down. What this tells me is that one, before we get into the 10 of cups, there's more to discovering who you are. Once again, you're on this journey of self-awareness. Who am I? What am I? You have a self. Self is, belongs to you. It is not you. It belongs to you. There's a difference there. So 10 of cups, family, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. I also see that you're in a stadium. So like graduation, being at events with your family, doing things that you really, really love with others so the ten of cups would be ultimate fulfillment out of out of this deck here ten of cups would be fulfillment nine would be contentment you got the ten which means fulfillment you are meant to feel full and what makes you feel full is we have here is how you feel and being surrounded by those that you love that is a key indicator right here that's what brings you happiness and so therefore that means more time is coming to you more resources are coming to you as you shift into this life. See, that's the thing. One foot is over here in this old life and another foot is over here in this new life. Like, I think I would want to do that. So what spirit is saying is you must go all in in a direction and choose yourself because that's what's going to pay off full cup here. So I definitely see that family is important, tribe, community, being around those you love, doing things you love with people that you love, having fun, being free to do things with people. Once again, people are very important to you. So with the cups here, you could definitely be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We definitely also have Leo on the board and we do have Aries on the board. So an earth sign energy, obviously Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. I only know that because that's what pentacles rule. So we have all of this to communicate with the universe at the end of the day numbers you can use numbers to communicate you can use symbols the colors here everything in this reading is very futuristic as you can see so this tells me that you are getting peaks and glimpses into your future and you're doing that through what excites you in your imagination you wouldn't be able to imagine it 
if you weren't able to create that for yourself. But the truth is, the secret is, is you're not creating it. You're not making it happen. It was already created for you to be aligned with it. That's it. There's nothing you have to do to make this happen. So ultimately, card one, you have fulfillment here. That is what spirit is leading you to. So if you feel like things are moving out of the way, that's exactly what they're doing. Anything that's moving in your life, it's moving out of your way. So you might see stagnancy in places that you used to be in. And that's because your excitement is no longer there. Your desire is no longer there. And it, wherever it's going, follow that. So that's leading me to card two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close out this reading. If you guys are here, definitely don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if this is your card. Card number one down below. If you see everyone that comments image one, that's your tribe. Image two, if you are here, welcome to your reading. I actually had to stop because there was a ton of distractions outside and I got into a very, very deep meditation and channeled a message for you, card two. So you are on a journey and something that I'm feeling very heavily is that there is a very big shift getting ready to happen in your life. Now you've had shifts before. OK, this is not like, oh, a shift is happening and it's, you know, just a regular shift. There is a very big turn that your life is getting ready to take. If you've been in a place where you're just in the unknown, you have no idea what's next and you're willing to be led there. You are getting ready to make a decision you didn't even realize was coming. You didn't even realize was an option. Some of you are relocating, didn't even think about it. Some of you are really questioning, where do I want to be? And so some place that spirit took me and guided me in that meditation that I had on your card and your image was, you really have to go within and dig deep to find this version of you. So some of you guys are coming from card one. So yes, if you're here, this message is for you, but this is something that we also talked about on card one. So if something doesn't feel right, if things are agitating in any sense in any area of your life, if there's pressure, I see that there's going to be a decision you didn't even think you were going to make. And in order for you to know what's next, there's got to be a soul searching, really going within and putting aside financial situations, putting aside survival, putting that aside and really asking yourself, if you could, where would you live? Where do you desire to be? What do you desire to be around? Your environment is very big, okay? So something about your environment is changing very heavily. So at the bottom here, that's confirmation, the high priestess. So you are being led into the unknown. You're getting ready to go through. You're going through a very, very big shift in your life. And and I know you may have heard this before, but this shift feels different. You're completely free making this decision. Spirit wants you to come from a place of really making a decision based on being free. Where would you be? We first have to connect with their desires to see where you're being led. Don't worry about how you're going to get it. Focus just solely on your soul and what you desire, okay? So after coming out of this meditation, I really felt led to guide you in your own soul journey meditation. And what I'm getting is spirit wants you to feel where your joy is at. What matters most to you? Something that came up is peace. Peace, just peace just to be able to be, to exist, to be still. And so things have been a little weird in your life. If you're choosing card two, things have been a little strange. And in the sense of strange, it's different. People may be changing around you. You may be saying, seeing life from a different perspective and you're feeling, you're getting ready to feel freer than you've ever felt. And you must first connect with where that is in your soul. Where is freedom dwelling in your soul? 
speaking up is going to be a big thing. Speaking up about how you feel. There's some feelings that you must communicate. And I'm feeling like this is also guidance in your life right now. So coming first card coming out, this is from card one. So we're not going to take that to feel good is to feel God. We'll take that one. This is from card one. So once again, if you guys felt led to that reading or you're coming from that reading, that's just confirmation to feel good. So now it's time to connect with your soul and really ask yourself, where do you desire to go? There are no rules, no limitations, just close your eyes and imagine what would feel good and start with your environment because that is what's going to be changing a lot in this next chapter of your life. So if you're here, you are being guided into the unknown. There's un an unexpected decision you're going to have to make very quickly. Something you didn't even think. Maybe you've been pondering on it. Once again, it could be just very simple things. Rest. Like I was just getting, what is the point if, there, if you're not resting? What is the point of being rich if you're not resting? You're not in peace. You got to maintain this. You got to maintain that. You got to send this order out. You got to do this. You got to call this person. It's like we've got to get back to the desire and the desire is peace. And you're being led there by your higher self. There's no better place to be, and you're going to realize this, than to be in the space of, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going, but I know it's going to feel better than this. I just know it's going to be better. And that's the feeling you must hold on to. So huge decisions. Huge decisions in your career changing, your environment changing, your home changing. Once again, many of you didn't even see this coming. You will not see this coming. And so what it's going to do is life is throwing a curveball and you have to give yourself grace right now. Give yourself so much grace and patience. It's not the universe that we're saying, be patient with the universe. No, the universe can deliver instantaneously, has been delivering before you even asked or desired. It's yourself that must be prepared to receive this next chapter in your life. And this next chapter is going to require you to have to make some pretty big decisions. Big because we think it's big. There's bigger. So where do you go? This is not going to be a strategic, logical, or practical situation. Right now, it is just to be, I'm just seeing universe, I'm open. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going to work. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to leave that to you to show me. And it's your responsibility and best in your favor to be open to where that's coming from. Okay. It could be, and we always look to the people closest to us. It may not be coming from there. The, the answer is not obvious. Okay. If it were obvious, you would have already made it. So that's why it's going to require you to dig deeper. What is the point if I'm not happy? What is the point if I'm not at peace? If I'm not resting, shouldn't that be a bare minimal feeling of goodness is to just rest? Resting is a sign that everything is okay. There's no worry. There's peace. So you're coming in alignment with yourself as well. And so be patient, give yourself grace in this next place in your life because you will not have the answers. Yourself will not have the answers. And so it may seem like it's unknown, but to keep that level of excitement of something is changing and it's a fresh new start, it's a fresh change and I'm excited to see what that is. It is not my job, this is you saying this, it is not my job to make that happen. It is not my job to deliver the blessing. My job is simply to put in the order and to receive. Put in the order and to receive. To receive, you must be aware. The communication will show up. So if you guys are looking to go on a vacation, looking to see and explore more, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of you are desiring to make connections with people. Okay, just, just connections with being able to be free with people. You've gotten yourself here. And so now it's time to go within and going within means to really spend time with yourself. Sometimes that looks like a meditation where you close your eyes and you let yourself imagine, tell you, 
ask yourself to show you where it desires to go. Where is your happiness? Where is your peace? What does that look like? Are there mountain? Are there trees? Where do you desire to be? Okay, it is not something that will come to you practically, but something will pop up. Just take a step back, be still, and let the universe deliver these answers to you, is what I'm hearing, card two. Answers as far as where to go. Someone will say a, 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 a state, a country, something will come to you. It will come to you. It just will not be delivered through a language. It'll be delivered through maybe an experience you have, maybe a movie you see, and they're talking about a certain location. You look into it. Follow your curiosity in this next chapter. Okay, so we have the high priestess. So you are solely being led. You're blind, can't see physically. You have no idea where you're going next, but you can feel that it feels better than where you are now. And that's the feeling you must trust. Card two, why are they here? What are they going through currently? Higher font. All right, so you are being guided. The higher font is Taurus energy. So there's going to be a lot more stability. You're going to realize peace is a priority. Joy is a priority. Fulfillment is a priority. You're going to realize what's the point of having all this if I'm not happy, if I'm not at peace, if I'm not in love. What is the point? What is the point of this? The point is to feel good. And that's feeling God. That's a confirmation that you're aligned with God and what God has and desires for you. So Hierophant is a teacher, a mentor. So you are also someone that many people may look to for answers, maybe looking to you to be an example. And so I'm seeing that you are naturally led by your intuition and you trust it already. And at, with the Hierophant coming here, you are really having to let go of beliefs that do not serve you that do not feel good so that you can get closer and closer to the beliefs that do feel good. So let's see what else is here. Okay. Nine of swords. So yeah, lots of anxiety, lots of overwhelmingness, lots of maybe sometimes agitations, like what am I going to do? Where am I going to, and that's where you, this is a good place to be. Okay. You will, many people will find themselves here it's small leaps of faith that we're taking. And you've already made these leaps. This is a familiar feeling to you, a feeling of something's getting ready to end, but something's getting ready to begin. And I'm more excited about the beginning than worried and anxious about the ending. Shifting your energy into things have to end for other things to begin. Endings are great if, they're, if what you are in is painful. All right, if you're, if you're in pain, an ending is good because that would mean the pain goes away. If you're in distraught, if you're distraught, if you're agitated, if you're not feeling good, if you're feeling overwhelmed, okay, if you're feeling worried, anxious, okay, this is anxiousness here. Not sure what's going to happen next, but once again, you're being guided by your intuition. So right now, the best thing you can do is connect with where will it feel good to go to next? Where will it feel good to be next? And you must take this one day at a time, sometimes a moment at a time, which is why living in the present moment is the key. So trust and know that you make it in your journey. So just enjoy the ride while you're going. We're going to get one more card. Why is the nine of swords here? What is this anxiety around? All right, five of pentacles. All right, and then we also have the tower, things falling apart, things that you have built so long, devil at the bottom, Capricorn energy, things that you've waited so long for, maybe you finally obtain it. Whatever that may be, you thought you wanted it, you thought you wanted to be with this person, because once again, we do have a person here with the five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is about lack is about uncertainty around finances, uncertainty about survival, uncertainty about where you're going to stay, where you're going to live, where you're going to go next, where do you want to be? If it's about happiness, where would you be? If it was about joy and not about your budget, where would you be? That's the only way we're going to uncover your destiny, the truth of what you're here to experience so you can get there sooner. And you're realizing 
every leap is bound to get you to this place of desire. So even if you take a little step and you go to another place that you don't really want to be in, but it's a better budget, you're still going to find yourself back at today's conversation until you choose what is true to you. Living on a budget is not being truthful. And I know that that sounds crazy, but that's not truthful. You're telling the universe that I don't have enough to receive this. And the universe is saying, you don't need anything to receive this. And this is where you have to trust. There's a reason why we have the higher font and the high priestess. This tells me there's more for you to learn about how easy this really is. Even if you say you're spiritual, there's more to learn because spirituality should bring ease, should be, bring moments of bliss often, not once a year, often, because you're so aligned with this truth. So I'm hearing there is more for you to learn. And if you think things are falling apart with the tower card here, it is because you're not in the right space that is aligned with your soul to begin with. See, it could never fall apart if it was aligned. And so it's okay. You have to forgive yourself. You're getting closer and you're getting closer to the desires that you actually want to obtain, the places you actually want to live. You must be honest with yourself about what that is in this time, not based off of a budget. That's not being honest. Okay. Some people say, well, isn't that faking it? If, if, if it's not in my budget, it's like, no, you're faking it not being abundant. Your true nature is to be abundant. You being alive is evidence that you are abundant. And so much more. Spirit, what do you want them to know right now? Why are they here? Do something kind for someone without any expectation. Say goodbye to your past and leave the baggage behind for good. That's what's happening right now. It's a decision, decisions you maybe haven't wanted to make in a long time. Like, oh, I'm going to wait it out. It's not that bad. I'm going to wait it out. Not that bad is not good. It's either good or it's not. If it's good, it's God. It is your compass. It is how you're being guided. So you must follow what feels good. It's time to connect with your emotions and your feelings of what would feel good. And you can have anything you desire. That's the truth. This is why, why you have to understand there's more for you to learn here about having your desires. I feel a card, a uh, text message from your future self. Higher self, what do you want card two to know about when it comes to their desires? Okay. Simply focus on joy. Confirmation. Simply focus on joy. That's what spirit wants you to know. It is the joy that puts you in the vibration to manifest everything that you desire. So some of you may be in joy but not really aligned with your desires. Thinking that joy is just a temporary feeling, but it is true that where your joy is, you will discover more of who you are based on what brings you that feeling of joy. That feeling is a confirmation. That feeling is a clue to where you desire to be. Where would you desire to be that brings you joy? Think about your environment. And understand anything you imagine, you desire, you can obtain. So do not limit your imagination. Allow yourself to explore. And that's why sometimes you have to close your eyes so you can see better. Where is your imagination taking you when you feel joy? And also leave people out. Bring people in to your imagination after you discover your joy. You must be in joy before you can enjoy it with others. Otherwise, they're the reason you are enjoying life. And you must have a reason outside of other people for you to feel joy. Otherwise, you would always need other people. You can feel that with nothing. You can feel that by simply imagining. That is how powerful joy is. So now is the time to see where are you being guided and spirit is also saying now is the time to be thinking about how you can give. If you ever fear not having enough or lack, 
that means it's a sign to give and share. What can you share? Your wisdom, your art, your face, a video online. Share your advice, share your story, share something out of the kindness because what this does for you, sharing something and doing something kind for someone without an expectation gets you in the vibration of receiving. It's saying if you were abundant, what would you give? Where would you share? What would you do? So do something kind without expectation. Spirit wants you to feel what it feels like to be abundant, to be able to help others without needing anything. This puts you in a natural place of abundance and also resting, resting so that the answers can come to you. Whether it's in a dream, whether it's in a vision, the answers will come to you. Someone will mention something. You'll see something in your email. You'll see a text. You'll see a post something there's so much guidance so spirit is saying starting out with the high priest to be open to all of this guidance around you make time to play have fun and be free make time to play have fun and be free now is the time to embrace celebration and feeling play and happy this is what raises your vibration this is the feeling you desire to have is to play is to have fun and that doesn't really sound practical when it comes to thinking that we have to fix problems. But playing and being, having fun and being free is your natural vibration. It is your natural frequency is what I'm hearing here. Okay, so we have the tower. Some, something is coming down. Okay, something appears to be falling apart around you. And let's get the truth about this here with the tower card. What is the truth here with the tower card? The truth is intuition. Confirmation here. We'll put this right under the actual card of intuition. Hidden knowledge, secrets at work, new talents, night shift, record keeper. You're getting ready to uncover talents that you didn't think you had. Talents that you may have known you've had, but haven't really put them into a vibration of fun and freedom and play so that you can receive. So with this worry around your finances, how am I going to make this happen? All of these strategies, all of these strategies, and I understand I'm a Capricorn, the devil card was showing up. You could also be a Capricorn trying to figure this out. The best way to figure it out is to get into a space where you can just imagine. We must come out of the matrix for a second to connect with your true nature. And there is a hidden knowledge in your intuition. This is the guidance that you're seeking to guide you out of the unknown. And it's being displayed. And you will know the next place you will go is the one that feels better than where you are now. What would feel better? And allow yourself to stretch. We have direction, finding your way, study, mentor, career, search, many jobs diverging. So secrets at work, you're getting ready to see the truth about the job that you've been in. So whatever you've been doing currently to exchange for resources or money, or your services and times, there's going to be something there that's revealed to you. There's going to also be some type of idea that comes to you where you can have fun and you can be free and you can make money. And I'm telling you, this is not a vibration many people are open to, many people even believe is possible. But you are creating your way and every time you leap out of where you were, you're getting closer and closer, but what are you getting closer to? fulfillment, peace, financial freedom, time. What's the point of having a lot of money if you don't have time? If you think you don't have time or you're trading time for money, we're trading time for money. There is no amount of dollar that can pay for an hour of time on earth. Steve Jobs couldn't pay for another hour and he was very wealthy. He had to transition. He couldn't buy more time here, but we're trading our time for once again, 
This is why I'm leaving this industry of business. I do not desire business. I desire to share, share and exchange, create, share, receive, create. And whatever I decide to create is what I decide to create. And I believe that's what you're getting into is discovering more creations that you have new talents and directions you will find your way. So another thing too is right underneath the higher font, which is literally a mentor, a teacher is you will find someone that will show up and guide the way. Just like you found this video, you will find someone that is able to direct you in the right direction. And the right direction is your compass of your feeling. So if something seems like it's ending and you gotta leave or something is happening, all of this is good communication. And even sometimes when we're stuck in it and we're like, oh my gosh, this seems like it's falling apart. It's actually moving itself out of the way so you can see clearer of what it is that you desire. All this time you've been discovering what do you truly desire so that you could obtain it. And you're obtaining it and you're getting closer and you're getting closer every time. Okay, so we have direction. So you're finding your way. Spotlight. So we have rich, famous, lucky break, star power, influencer, entertainer. So if you're on this card, it is not by coincidence. You're meant to influence. Even if you're not in a place to receive an overwhelming amount of influence, you will influence your family. You will influence your friends. You're influential. It is just who you are and who you're meant to be. You know too much to not be also is what I'm hearing. So you're getting ready to get a lucky break. Social media is very big. Share, share, share what you know, share your story, talk. Some of you just want an outlet to talk about ideas. Get on social media and talk to the universe. Don't see it as people. I mean, you're reaching millions of people on these apps and we're thinking these this as people, it's energy, it's frequency. What even is the internet? Okay, like understand it is a web connected to the universe and it is honestly projecting you back to you, which is why it's important for you if you are a social media influencer, if you are someone to continue to be authentic because your authenticity is what is going to stand out from the rest, is your authenticity. So you're getting ready to be in the spotlight card too. And you're being directed towards this. You've been directed towards this all your life. You couldn't miss it if you tried. This is what's meant for you. And that is for you to be seen. Even if you don't see this as a spotlight, a stage spotlight, a social media spotlight, you are getting ready to be seen more than you've ever been seen before. And you're going to be seen for being your authentic self. You don't have to change a thing. The more comfortable you can be with yourself in front of others is the more freer you're going to feel. And you're going to also attract people on that same vibration. So why is the spotlight card here? Let's get tarot. We're going to look a little bit deeper into the details of what is the rich and famous here for. Okay. For card two, it wouldn't have come out by coincidence. We have the three of swords. Okay. So the three of swords, there could be fears around disappointing others. There could be fears around showing your true self that you've been getting over and just being yourself. There's nothing. If you can be yourself when thousands of people are watching, that is the freest you can ever feel. The more freer you are around other people, the more freer you're becoming. This is about freedom. And we also have the four of pentacles, okay? So you do not have to make this happen. You don't have to go buy the best equipment, the best gear, the best this, the best that. Because now I'm getting the three of swords and also the four of pentacles, which is holding on so tightly to what you have. You, you think I've worked hard so hard for this whatever this may be i loved it so much but it's just not bringing me peace i thought at the very bare minimum it would bring me peace that i would feel happy and so forgive yourself you're exactly where you need to be there's no such thing as the wrong decision it all leads to the right path 
So letting that go and getting right back on the path and where are they being guided? Okay, you have a huge important choices to make coming up here soon. You didn't even see this coming. You're not seeing these things coming, which is why the tower is here. Okay, we have the ace of swords or the ace of wands. So there's a new path here that's unfolding and the agent of wands. So there's a new path that's unfolding and you are going to be taking a lot of action once it appears. And whatever this is, this is a passion of yours. It brings you excitement. It's something you prefer to do amongst the rest. Whatever that is, you get closer and you get closer, peeling off layers of who you aren't, moving away friends that were not aligned with true friendship. Replacing people with people who are actually compassionate and desire to be free with you. Something that makes you feel like you're on fire. It lights your soul on fire. Nothing else compares to this. Even if you could travel to the most beautiful places in the world, whatever this is, if it's obviously traveling is something that's big too, is to see the world. But you'll realize that this one thing you really want to do and don't narrow it down to one thing just understand it's this one vibration you desire to feel and you feel it with various with very few things in your life and you get closer and you get closer to this whatever this is so being worried about what people say you're freeing yourself from that what people think about you what people say about you just stripping away doubts, fears, disbeliefs, opinions that others have. It doesn't matter if it's not the truth. People's opinion of you or perspective of you does not matter, especially if it's not the truth. If you don't see me or the truth, then what's the point? I know you, I don't need to know your perspective if it's not aligned with truth, because I'll know you don't have the right perspective. And people are very limited to how they can see you by how they see themselves. So I do sense a lot of forgiveness with people, all right? Just not, they're not aligned entirely with your vision, with your dreams, with the love in your life. And that's also something that I see you moving away from. So if you're here, you're being asked to stay encouraged and understand that guidance is all around you. What is the guidance for card two for this next journey? Your perspective on life will be admired as we're talking about perspective. So people will admire your perspective, perspective. So if you're wondering where this rich comes from, this famous comes from, people admire your perspective. People admire my perspective, but you know what I tell them? It's not my perspective, it's just the truth. My perspective is very limited, but the truth is expansive and it's, it's everlasting. You, you don't just get one truth and you're done. It's, it's everlasting, this well runs. It never runs dry. You're always discovering new truths about yourself, about the universe, about others, about love, about peace, about bliss. It's, that's what keeps it exciting. And so that's another thing is you don't realize you're doing it. So you don't realize that people will actually pay you for your perspective because you're just simply saying it's the truth. But the truth is what everyone desires to hear because the truth is the voice of God. It is the light. When people speak the light, they speak truth. I'm going to shed this light and it's I'm going to shed this truth. So that's what I'm getting for you. There's not to be fearful of being yourself around others. That's something that you're getting ready to walk into. So things are changing, huge decisions. So using your discernment, your discernment is what feels good. What would feel good to you? and options will be presented and the universe will show up in your favor. So if you guys chose card number two, image two, don't forget to comment down below because whoever chose image two is probably your soul tribe. Definitely going to a space that is only complementing the happiness that you're actually engulfing in your life right now. The more happier you become, the more happiness you attract. So anything that's not in the vibration of happiness will show itself in this time. We see it as a tower, like, oh, it's falling apart. It's like, no, it wasn't aligned to begin with, but you kind of just tried to make it align. And it was aligned for that moment is what we'll say. And it felt right in that moment. And so you're getting better with choosing and making decisions for yourself. And that's why I said, 
bring others into the mix later. All right. It's got to be about you first. You've got to have a full cup before you decide to fill another, especially when their cup has holes in it. They're not even in a place to receive. So it doesn't matter how much you pour into them. They're not retaining it. And that is why you take what people are not retaining and you share it with the world. It's what inspired me. No one in my family listened to me when I said, listen, I think I'm an oracle. There's more to this. The universe is communicating with us. It's got to be easier than this. And you know what it did? It encouraged me to start a channel. So all of those pressure points where you're going through a breakthrough, right after the rain, the rainbow appears for a reason. It's symbolic. It is so symbolic. It means vibrance is coming back to your life. Life is being restored back to your life is what it means. And so instead of focusing on the spilled milk and in the tower, focus on, okay, this is communication. This is no longer aligned. So I'm, I'm excited to see what's aligned. And then how do you see that? Go to your imagination and it'll show you. Connect with yourself and it'll show you. All right, I'm moving on to the last card, card three. Image three, if you guys are here, this is your message for what does the universe want you to know? Why did you find this reading? Actually, I'm being led to start with a different deck. What does the universe want you to know? Why? are you on this video? Why did this video find you? Out of all the videos on YouTube, somehow this video popped up on your feed. Why? What does your higher self, the universe, whichever you choose, want you to know? Let's get a direct text message. Let's get a direct text message. Expect a gift within 30 days. Something is getting ready to come to you in 30 days. A gift is also answers solutions, revelation. So many of you could have been in a very unknown place like, okay, I thought I knew where I was going, but it's not looking the same that it did when I walked in. So I'm not really sure which way you're getting ready to receive revelations is something I'm seeing too within the next 30 days. Your growth has been acknowledged by the universe. So now is the time to celebrate. You've come very far. And lastly, the universe wants you to know if you're here to expect to hear from me soon. So to expect to hear from the universe, once again, that's a confirmation with revelation. So expect your prayers to be answered within 30 days of watching this video. So whatever answer you're seeking, where, why, when, how, if we can let all this go and just embrace the know, the known, what do you know to be true? And that is that you are here to experience, let's see. You're here to experience what? They're asking me to pull another card. Your vibe, your tribe, your network, progress, attraction, anything you desire to manifest, magnetism, good luck, looking up in cash flow. So you're getting, you've, you're breaking a very lackful cycle, even if it's mentally, okay? Not feeling like you have enough, whether it's not feeling like you have enough information, okay? Some of you are waiting to take leaps of faith before you know the exact plan and the plan is not revealed until after you take the leap. You don't know how until after you go through it. That's the truth. So you must just walk through it. And so what I'm getting is you are the teacher. You're becoming the teacher. So the student becomes the teacher. You have been connecting with this truth longer than most people have. Doesn't matter how long you've been doing it. Doesn't matter how old you are. So don't limit yourself. What you're getting ready to receive is a tribe, feeling connected, collaborating, all right, progress, slow and steady wins the race. It says persistence in the flow. So you are exactly where you need to be and the wheels are turning in your favor of good luck. That is what the universe wants you to know. So what is coming in good luck is your tribe, people you really resonate with, people who you really connect with, people who care deeply for you. What else is here for card three? We have the 10 of swords. Okay, let's move these around. To now, what is your storyline? What are you currently experiencing is an ending. You are getting ready to close a chapter 
that you've been waiting a long time to close. All right. Something that has been causing a lot of energy. You take in a lot of your energy. It doesn't matter if it's easy. Some people are like, well, all I got to do is send this. E you don't understand your attention is your where your attention flows is where your energy goes. So even if you have to take your attention off of doing what you love for one second, what are those things that are pulling you out of that vibration? Some people just do it because it's easy. It's not about it being easy. Well, all I got to do is do this and do that. It's your energy. It's taking up too much of your attention and energy, whatever it is. All right. So whatever it is that you're constantly thinking about, it's taking up too much of your energy is what I'm hearing. What are you constantly thinking about? How can we get deeper into this spirit? What are they constantly thinking about? Give us a message directly for car three. They constantly keep thinking about something. What do you want them to know? Listen to your body and do what it's asking of you. Feeling good and taking care of yourself. All right. So if you're constantly worried about your health, if you're constantly worried about your financial health, your spiritual health, others, other people, this is something that's taking up too much of your time. Spirit is saying now is the time to listen to your body. So Sometimes it's as simple as your environment not bringing you peace. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of chaos. You don't think it affects you, but over time you realize I'm not getting much rest. And so what it's, it could be something as simple as that that we overlook because we don't realize how we're affected by energy. Even if you're watching something that makes you feel bad, you don't realize it until you're aware. And so what spirit is saying is now is the time to be aware. Things are coming to an end that were overwhelming to begin with. What else is here for what can they expect? The full card, a leap of faith. Okay, so we have a leap of faith here, something new. Yeah, letting go of distractions. Like I'm saying in the background, there's no peace. Imagine how sacred a space of no sound is. Like to actually be in a space where there's no sound, there's just nature. It's rare. It's rare. We have the full card here. So taking a leap, your, your back is up against the wall and making a decision that you will be making here very soon. Okay, you could be coming from card two and you will take the leap of faith. You're being asked to take the leap of faith. And where? The seven of wands. Okay, a space that you're in, you're not meant to compete is what I'm hearing. You're not meant to compete. You're not, not meant to have to prove yourself. You are just yourself. So there's nothing to prove. It's like a tree saying, I have to prove myself and stand here and be a tree. It's like, no, just be a tree. You don't have to try to prove to be what you are. So even if you're an athlete, if you're the greatest, you're the greatest. You don't have to prove. Know yourself. Know what you enjoy and you'll know you're the greatest. So there's a lot of energy is the word I want to use that has been being dispersed into many different places in your life. And it's creating a shortage of energy in your body. You're, you're, you'll start to feel it in your body, not sleeping, not resting. And you'll wonder why you feel this way. And you won't think that it's something as small as every time you go to work, you're around certain people, or every time you look in your email, you feel a certain way. It's something really small that I'm picking up here that you don't realize is taking your energy. And, and what I mean by taking it is it's really miss, it's really redirecting it. So no, nothing can take your energy. It's what you're giving. So as you have one cup full, which is yourself, your vessel, you're pouring it here, you're pouring it there, you're pouring it there, you're pouring it there, you're over here, you're over here, you're over here. And we've got to bring the power back by pulling your attention off of that. So 
It's not that you give, it's not that someone can take your energy. You are willingly dispersing it and giving it in various places. And so if you, even if it's so simple, get someone else to do it. Manifest another person to do that. Allow someone else to come in to help, to support whatever vision you have is something also that I'm picking up here. So listen to your body and do what it is asking of you to make changes. All right. So we have the seven of wands. So that's just a lot of energy, a lot of energy. And, and I see that it's, you're coming out of this space and you didn't even, it's like, you didn't even realize you were in it until you were in it. Like, wait a minute. Okay. So it's not something that was so obvious. We also have the page of wands. So something that you've been curious about is actually getting ready to spark in a good way. So you're getting ready to attract something in your life at this moment with the executive here. I see that you're going through, you will go through a space of discovery, of discovering what brings you passion. What do you actually enjoy? Because you're taking a leap of faith, but you're taking a leap of faith towards what? Towards where? Is really what I'm getting. Where do you desire to go? Is what also something that's coming up. Okay, what else is here, spirit? Why is it page of wands here? Open your heart, not just a little, all the way and let the love flow in. Stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. I can't make it up. I can't. I could just feel it. And you don't realize it's taking energy from you, but it doesn't matter if it's a simple task. It's taking attention away from what you love. If you're not obsessively in love and excited to the point where you remember what it was like waking up on Christmas Day to see what was under the tree, do you remember those moments? Do you remember the moment when you're so excited for the next day, the first day of school, and you have your outfit put out, you're so excited, you might as well be at school. The outfit's laying on the bed next to you. It's because you're excited. Excitement means I'm meant to be there. It's like, yes, yes. Your higher self saying, yes, go that way. And then your other, yourself, okay, 10 of arms, 10 of, 10 of swords, just being in your head about many things, wrestling with common sense, which is a new one as well. We don't even realize we're wrestling with so much up here. Until we stop the wrestle, be still, be open. Open your heart, not just a little, but all the way to what do I actually love? What is my heart overwhelmingly obsessed with doing that I can't stop thinking about it? And you might not have found that just yet. If you're choosing card three, you're closer. Okay, if you're choosing card three, you're closer. The only thing that's been slowing you down is where your energy is at. With the seven of wands, this is usually one wand and six wands and they're fighting it's like a lot of energy. Seven of wands is seven different places your energy is in is the way that I can best say it. So would stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. Understand everyone on this planet has a connection to the universe. Everyone. And if they were in the vibration, this video would show up, but not many people are ready to receive a message that says, hey, you don't have to suffer. You don't have to struggle. There's communication coming in from your higher self. There's communication from the universe and God. Are you listening or do you just keep running into the wall? You'll realize you're exerting yourself. And if they didn't listen to the universe and God, what makes you think they're going to listen to you? This is something I had to learn as a giver, just wanting to help. It comes from a pure place. But if they were ready, it would naturally flow. It would naturally align. If they were ready. It's actually reminding me of my father who reached out to me and said, hey, what's your YouTube channel? And it's been like four years and it's like, oh, he's ready. And I said, I don't know if you're ready to hear that. I don't know if you're ready to hear the messages. He's like, no, I'm ready. Like he's thinking I'm joking. He has no idea what you just opened. Like you, the only way you could be on this video is if you were aware enough. And I say this often. So. With that being said, 
I was trying to save my family. I was trying to show them away. Once you find this truth, once you realize how easy it is, guess what you're going to want to do? You're going to want to tell the world. You're going to want to tell everyone, hey, it's easier. You're meant to do this. You're going to want to share it. It's too good to keep to yourself. And little behold, I let it go. And he asks. It's been crazy on the back end seeing some of the miracles and hearing people's stories. And even with that conversation. I sparked a passion within him. The universe told me, hey, your dad used to play the drums when he was younger. And I don't know why I'm sharing this, but I'm sharing it. So if you're here. <laughs> and he know, I mean, he's aware, but he's so logical. And so you guys could be a Pisces if you're here, because he's definitely a Pisces son. And I said, you know what? The universe told me I'm going to get you a drum set. That's what I said. I'm going to buy you a drum set. Go pick out a drum set. And he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah, he's like, you know what? I've been thinking lately about what did I used to do? What do I enjoy? And I'm like, of course you have. It's all perfectly aligned. But if we try to figure it out before, we will go insane. And so he starts telling, first of all, he's way more aware than I thought. A shout out to Abraham Hicks for waking him up. He's been binging her, thankfully. And it's like, there's so many teachers for so many different students. And that's another thing I'm picking up here. If you're a teacher, it's like, I'm a teacher for you, but you will be a teacher to others. Just like every, every person has their own, but we're all on that, the same team, which is light, which is truth. And Abraham Hicks is one person on this planet. There's only a handful of them that is actually aligned with the truth. And I just kept saying, yeah, everything works out perfectly. And he was like, that's what Abraham Hicks says. And I said, well, it's just the truth. We think it's what she says. Some of you think it's what I say. It's what God says. It's what the universe says. So I tell him that. And I said, I don't remember much, but I remember you playing a lot. Like you love to play. And he was like, yeah, I did love to play, but it's been 20 years. Da, 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 da. So that conversation went on. Two days later, he sends me a text message. And he said, it's just a picture of drums. Drums, it looks like used drums on someone's floor. And I said, wow, that's a confirmation. Where is this? He texts, me, he texts me back and says, my client's house. Then I get a phone call right as I'm texting him. It's crazy how undescribable it is. He, he calls me and I said, hello? And he said, that's crazy. And I was like, what happened? And he said, nothing. I just walked into my client's house and I, there it was, a drum set, a perfectly full set of drums, acoustic. And the guy says, you know, my son moved out. I don't need him anymore. And I need to get him out of my living room. So if you want to make me a small offer, you can take him off my hands. My dad offers him a hundred bucks and he's got the drums. And I'm just thinking to myself, obviously, like I ended up paying for the drums because that was his father's day gift anyway. And this is the first year I've done anything for my parents. Like I, I don't really celebrate holidays because I believe it should be authentic. And so for, for some reason, I felt that in my spirit and he was aligned. So he was like, this is crazy. And I said, I know we were just on the phone. It was just silence. He was like, unbelievable. He said, I never would have got it. I never would have understood. And he said, and it happened so fast. It was like, what, two days. And I said, yeah, that means you must really have opened up your heart to receiving. And he's like, wow. So it's your desires. I had a desire and it just appeared. And I said, like magic. And you can never go back once you know this is true. And that was, and still to this day, probably the most amazing revelations. Like that moment, there's no price you can pay for that moment to be able to experience that with someone you love closely that you really want to see how good the universe is, how amazing this light, this, these teachings, the truth is. I'll never forget that moment. To hear how happy he says, it feels like bliss. The fact that he even knew that word was crazy to me. I'm like, yeah, it is bliss. And that's what our life was intended to be. And the best way to share this with the world is to tell the story like I just did. I can say the cards. Okay, what is the universe? I'm communicating with you through signs and numbers. I can say the cards. But to hear the testimony, to see the revelation, to know it's real, that's true teaching. And I believe you're a teacher if you're here. And you will not just teach your students and others in your world and your family by talking, but you will just share your story. Yeah, it just showed up. 
literally it's it's just undescribable how amazing the universe is how did he you can't even describe that you just can't and he said if i was logical i never would have gotten it and i said i know this is where so many people fall short they try to make it happen imagine making that happen putting finding the exact client with the exact full acoustic drum set not just a baby one, but a monstrous one. It's just, it, it, it's speechless. These stories are richer than anything you can teach because the, the truth, you can't teach it. You gotta live it. You gotta be it. Show people it exists. And then the fruit of it is to see other people have revelations. That to me was fulfilling. I, I was so happy. I was literally in tears. I was so happy to hear I've never heard him that happy in my life. And it wasn't because of the drums. It's because he knew he just now discovered for the rest of his days, he'll know it's true. What you desire comes to you. If you desire it, it'll find its way to you. The universe is real. The light is real. Magic is real. The universe is working for you. Everything works out perfectly. And everything I just said felt good because it's God. So it's like, it doesn't have to make sense. Most of this doesn't make sense. Lights, cameras, lenses don't make sense, but here I am using it, still pressing record. Imagine if I was like, wait, I gotta know how this thing works. I gotta know exactly how the lens is working. I gotta know exactly how this mic works. There's still things I don't know about this mic and this camera and this lens. So it's like, unless that's my passion and my desire to look into it, unless planets and the sun coming up every morning is something you're excited to know you don't it doesn't have to make sense for it to happen i said i know you're probably thinking well what did i do right today did i eat my breakfast did i feel good it's like you start to study those days that are good because you're like i want to do this again and again and again because it's meant that's all and you know what's even cooler you're here and you're, you're alive and you're aware. How many people know this? Go share it with the world. Share. You've already, it's like, what do you think you need to be an expert? There are still things on this journey that we will always be learning. When will you be able to say you're an expert? So it's not about your expertise and how much you knew this and even speaking to him. I speak to people who are 19, who are 70, who are, who are white, who are black, who are gay, who are straight, who are Muslim, who are this. It doesn't matter when you get to this truth as long as you do. And you will, the truth is, is you only wish you got here sooner. That's the goal, is as soon as you wake up in your infancy to be so aware of your being and your existence in this universe. So those of you who are parents, you get to actually teach your children that's the greatest, that's the greatest gift to a teacher is a child is what I'm picking up. Now you get to go teach this. And some of you, you'll be younger and you'll still be a teacher to someone like your age doesn't matter. None of that matters. So instead of trying to carry the world, show the world, show the world that, that this exists. And, and in order for you to show them, you got to feel it first. You got to have these experiences. You hear this story, you become a believer, you get excited, and guess what happens? Now you will have that experience. Expect a gift within 30 days. There's a reason why this card is here. So have fun with this, all right? This is meant for you to experience and attract an intention and focus. Look at this, intention and focus. Release what's not in your intention and focus. Pull your energy back. From places that don't make you feel that excitement, that light up, pull your energy back from it. Spirit, anything else you want them to know? Create the life you wish to um, experience through your imagination. Most of you cannot see where you're going. And if you cannot see where you're going, your imagination will show you. You know it's where you're going because there will be excitement. You will feel good. You will be excited. So when you go to your imagination, you're not just creating the life. You're, act you're creating it here but it's already created for you, which is why you can see it in your imagination. 
it's already created. So I'm also seeing a lot of you guys could be inventors or bringing things to life. And it's like imagining a Tesla, but a Tesla is not here. What that tells me is if you imagine things that have yet to be created, actually physically created, you could be an inventor. You could be bringing these things to life. But once again, it's not for you to make happen. You're just the recipient and the receiver, and you're here to receive. That is it. You're here to receive and you're here to share. And share what? Your creations, your knowledge, your story, your experiences. What is the full card here for? Nine of wands. So that did come through. All right. So that definitely came through in card two. So you guys could be coming from nine, card two. So, so spirit wants you to take a leap of faith away from what is causing you so much energy. So whatever you're going is really meant to free up your time, meant to give you more energy. It's like, if we can just take a step forward, what else is here? Just to confirm why that fool is here. Four of pentacles. Once again, two cards that came up in the last one. And at the very bottom, the star card, hope, computer, sharing, inspiring with others. And then we also have the supervisor of cups. So this would be the queen of cups. All right. So some of you are getting ready to manifest a, an actual person um, into your life. That's for some of you that are actually in a place of attracting it. Some of you already know who your person is. If you have not met them yet. Okay. This is for a few of you. You are taking a leap towards something you haven't even been able to see because you've been so focused on holding on to what you have and your energy has been dispersed in so many places with the nine of wands here that you've been able to unable to connect with the queen of cups. So what, what feels good? Some things you don't even think about. Just like I said with my dad, he was like, I haven't even, I didn't even think about drums until you said it. And it's like, he didn't know his desire, but the universe shared it with me. And as soon as I mention it to him, two days later, you manifest the full I mean, the drum set's over like $1,000, at least $1,400. So it's like, how? And so he was just saying, I didn't, I didn't think of that until you actually told me. And it's like, that's what I love to do. I love to poke at your inspirations. If you tell me you're inspired to do something, I like to put it in front of you just because it's exciting to watch you get lit up. So it's like, this is your way of being a teacher. Instead of telling people, well, you know, the universe works like this. It's, it's got to be showing now, showing and living your life in alignment with what truly excites you. All right. With the star card here, it's going to be very inspirational what you're doing. See, you're trying to carry the whole world, but you're meant to just inspire the whole world. So you are connected to a whole world and you are connected to the web and you are connected to the Internet. You are connected to all of this in some in some form of fashion. So I definitely think something is getting ready to show itself to you, spark interest, something that you've overlooked that's going to bring a lot of excitement to you, a lot of passion to you, but you haven't been focused on that. Now that you're focused on that, that is the goal, focusing your attention on what you could do, what you would do if you could, which you will. But until you're, you can get to a place of really knowing it, you got to walk yourself into this knowingness. Because even believing is not enough. You got to know. Do you believe your name is this or do you know your name is this? It's a different feeling to know. It's 100% certainty with no room for error or any crevice left open. It's just is. It just is. It's certainty. It's truth. And let's see what spirit wants you to know about that truth before we go. What is it that they're attracting? What is it about this truth that they're attracting? We have the star card here. What is the star card here for? Helping hand, giving and getting support, reaching out, financial aid, donate, charity work and loan. So what this tells me is you have helping support that's getting ready to come in. The more that you share your vision, some of you are just sharing with the people around you. Share with the world if you desire to be wealthy. My wealth, my freedom, all of this excitement did not come from my family and friends. It came from you, whoever you are. 
It came from the universe, me sharing and being willing to share with a wealth amount of people is what brought me that back. Me sharing love is what brought me that back. So you must be open, express to others that you don't know, to the world so that it can come back to you, all right? So that's something too is you've been restraining and restricting who you're sharing with. Once again, you're sharing with these very few people because you love them, they're your friends, they're your family. I get it. But there is a whole world waiting for you. And you gotta be open to this unconditional love coming in. All right, and what is that queen of cups here for? Big fish. So that is a confirmation. You are manifesting a very big life partner change in your life. This life partner is going to be the best life partner you've ever had thus far. You've never had a partner like this ever in your entire life. Now, those of you who are in relationships, you know what your desire is. Whether if you desire to be where you are, you will desire to be. There will be no effect with this card. But if there's excitement behind this card, then that is confirmation that it is there for you. Now, we can resist our desires because we don't want to hurt other people's feelings. But once again, you're trying to please others. You're trying to please the world. Stop trying, period. If you're trying, you're not aligned. There's nothing to try to do, is what Spirit is saying. Do you have to try to be your name? No, you just are. So be who you are is what you're called to be. And so good impression on the hook, great catch, lucrative deals. So you're getting ready to also catch a big supporting hand, a collaborator, a brand deal, something that's coming in, an opportunity, a job opportunity, something that you didn't think. And it's coming from you having fun. It's coming from a space of you having fun, opening your heart, being excited and taking the leap of faith to focusing your energy on something other than what's just in front of you because that's changing. So you have a big opportunity coming in here, someone who's going to want to collaborate with you, someone who sees you. It's the, the koi fish to me represents expressiveness. So the more you're expressing your true self, the more likely you're going to meet your partner, the more likely you're going to make an opportunity. And that's the point. You want to connect with people who love you for you. And that's why even for this channel, I have to remain authentic to whoever I am. As soon as I turn off this camera, this is exactly what I'll be doing. And this is exactly what I'll be saying. Whether you're my friend, whether I just meet you, this is the frequency that I live my life on. And 300,000 people subscribing is just a confirmation that, hey, I can be myself. I can share this truth. I can be an oracle. I can be seen and still be loved for that authenticity. That is just mere proof that you can just be your authentic self and someone out there will love you. And for those of you, a lot of people are going to love you is what I'm hearing, card three. So if you're here, this is your guys' in-depth message from the universe. I'm hoping it inspired you, brought you clarity, brought you one step closer into trusting yourself, trusting this life that was for you, trusting your desires, and trusting the universe. So if you're here, don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the tribe. Comment down below image three because whoever's image three is most likely going to be your tribe. And that's something also that you are connecting with here is a high vibe tribe it's not just about problems when we come together we really have to change that dynamic of friendship yes sometimes things will come up but to be in that vibration all the time is very taxing and that's because it's not our natural vibration anything that's taxing it's saying hey this is not your natural vibration to operate out of stress to operate out of fear to operate out of anxiety to operate out of worry that's why it feels so bad it's all communication. You just have to understand what the language is. And so I'm hoping that you guys got a little bit more on this video. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next reading, tarotchest.com. If you guys want any more readings, I'm out.